couple more options for carrying concealed pistol coming at you from Net and Fancy. Welcome. Hey, you guys have seen this one before, right? This is the belly band or one just like it that I featured in my Everyday Carry System series of videos, Rule of Law Variety. For you guys just joining the Nut and Fancy project, what I mean when I say rule of law is society is operational. That all the mechanisms of society, including law and order, are functioning. And the reason that's important when we talk to systems, especially weaponry systems, uh, is because the propensity, perhaps as a civilian permit holder, for us needing to access our gun, if we are realistic, is actually quite low. Now, if you're a police officer, especially an undercover officer, uh, propensity a little bit higher. Now, in that series of videos, uh, Everyday Carry System Rule of Law, I talk to the belly band concept and how it works for me. Maybe some guys and gals came away from that thinking that that is the only system I advocate or use, and that's why I'm making this series of videos, or not series, but individual videos, to address that. And, more importantly, to give you more options in carrying your pistol. Real quick, let's talk about the belly band pros and cons. The pros, very comfortable, very concealable. Um, that is huge when you're talking about a rule of law system. Because since we are in ROL, or rule of law, eh, we want it to be comfortable. Because if it's not comfortable, guess what? You start leaving your gun at home. And I've seen it hundreds of times from concealed, per uh, concealed permit holders. They just stop carrying because they chose either an uncomfortable gun or a very uncomfortable system to carry it in. So when we're talking ROL, make it comfortable, and that's where the belly band excels. Also, it's very concealable. Also in ROL, sometimes WROL, without Rule of Awe, that will be a player. I'll talk to that in future videos. But with Rule of Awe, being concealable for most cases is also very important. The cons of the belly band are, it's hard to draw your weapon. It's under the shirt, you go under the shirt, you have to draw the weapon vertically, you don't have a complete grasp on the butt of the gun. It's kind of a half grasp, and as such, especially under stress, you could fumble and drop your weapon right onto the pavement. This one's been retrofitted, like I mentioned in that video, with my own creation, uh, a snap system to retain the gun in case I'm running or something. Maybe running away from the threat. Dude, I much prefer that than ever draw my gun. Hey, real quick, let me talk to guys that roll in or may have found this video and say, well, you guys are talking, you know, you, you know, you're looking for problems. You, really, you want to go armed. No, nothing could be further from the truth. This video is intended for serious-minded individuals, good people that tend to gravitate towards a nut and fancy project for information to protect themselves and their loved ones. And it's completely reasonable, it's completely normal, and we should avoid conflict at all turns. However, we can de-escalate it. Just like I said, run away if you have to. Heck, who cares? Much better than ever having to draw your weapon. I'm talking about civilians, by the way. Uh, police officers, yeah, that's not their job. Uh, when there's gunfire, they're running towards a gunfire. That's their job. And they're the main sheepdogs of society. So, rule of law, sh belly band, good option. Not the fastest way to draw a gun. Also, a uh, few other disadvantages. It's a little bit of a hassle to put on and adjust properly. Once it's on, it's very comfortable. I, very minor, though. Let me show you another option, and this isn't about the belly band, but I'm using it to introduce another option for you civilian sheepdogs and officers out there. And that is this one right here. This is a Galco, let me make sure I get the name right, Classic Light Shoulder Rig. I think that's what it's called. Now, I carry this and have for several months, not on top of the shirt, but under the shirt. And that's why this is also a great ROL rig. You're going to gain, with a horizontally placed shoulder system like this, some speed on the draw. Because, as I'll show you in some pics here, it's situated right there. And I love the speed of a shoulder system. It's just right there. Pop the thumb, thumb snap, out comes a gun. You're ready to rock and roll. It's going to blow away the belly band in terms of speed. How's the concealability on it? It's actually going to be pretty darn good as long as you go with a short gun. If you think you want to carry concealed, a full size, something along the order of a SIG P226, um, as you'll see in the video, you're going to have to go with a cant. A cant meaning you're going to have to adjust the angle of your rig to put that muzzle up, therefore your overall length is shortened. 
instead of this dimension dimension horizontally we create something like that for under the shirt carry that's right under the shirt carry I prefer small compact and lightweight guns and there's a lot of options out there now this of course is the outstanding car PM9 I reviewed it previously you guys can look that up if you're interested great carry gun great gun in this system as well on the offside on this Galco classic light is your mag pouch there you have it always carry an extra mag I do at least one <coughs> and real quick that really depends on the situation in fact everything I'm talking about when it comes to carrying pistol depends on the situation it depends on am I in ROL or am, am I in WROL okay in other words is society functioning what's the propensity of me needing my gun if it's very slight and guess what a belly band will function just perfectly if maybe the the propensity is higher that I might need to access and use my we uh, weapon to defend myself my family my friends uh, then maybe I'd go with something like this and as we go up that chain of escalation my system will change as will my firepower um, they'll become I'll cross a threshold when no longer am I going to be carrying a PM9 I'm going to be carrying a full-size service pistol with a lot more ammunition and I'm going to be ready to rock and roll with that uh, kind of like the SIG 226 and that's kind of getting into the WROL situation and I'm going to show you some rigs that I believe will work very well in, with that indeed but back to this one always carry another mag uh, even in ROL situations this d does not have an offside tie down strap so this drapes over your shoulder by the way it's very comfortable I've worn it uh, a lot enough to know that it's comfortable and you don't really think about it and that's the key to a comfortable gun system but I actually made this offside tie down strap because I didn't like Galco's and what it does is it loops through that magazine carrier goes through your belt and then will snap just to retain it most times to be honest though I don't even take it at all I just leave it off and just let the whole system drape over the shoulders and for ROL concealed carry civilian variety that's a great way to go works fine here's your adjustment straps and this is how you're going to adjust the angle of ride for your gun like I said you could adjust it to go muzzle up just by of course bringing these straps up and these work pretty darn good actually these are some screws with brass retention uh, screw plates on the other side you'll adjust them how you need to I did find this strap was really long I had to cut it off otherwise it's flopping all over I left this one out because in case I need to make some future adjustments on the rig Galco uses their patented swivel plate they call it that allows these four harness straps made of suede in the classic light to swivel comfortably to adjust to your torso size great awesome overall the concealability on this is not as tight and it's not as invisible as the belly band uh, I was going to put it on and show you but I hate being a model I really do and suffice it to say uh, you need to wear a baggier shirt if you're going to go under the shirt and some of you guys will say well, why are you wearing it under the shirt why don't you just put it on top of the shirt and then put a light jacket over it um, I don't like that in ROL and the reason is is I want to shed layers if I'm in a hot place which seems like it almost always happens here I am committed with a shoulder rig to wear my jacket I hate that that's just me uh, if it's under the shirt and it's a loose enough shirt nobody's going to be the wiser that you have this trust me if you have a really sharp police officer scan in the room he might be able to detect that you have a shoulder rig on your shirt but he's gonna to have to be pretty razor sharp um, and that's with a short overall length pistol like the car PM9 that I'm showing you PM40 worked great too so with that Keltec PF9 by the way that's what was riding in that belly band I don't think I mentioned that works great and those are slim pistols with short overall lengths that work great now this rig is not an original it's actually a takeoff on Galco's more established shoulder rigs let's go take a look at those and you saw this on maybe reruns of Miami Vice and it is of course a Galco Miami classic shoulder holster that's a great shoulder holster I don't own one never have I have exam examined them a lot and I've had buddies that had them and they spoke very highly of them both in comfort durability and I really like this one how the horizontal presentation on the magazines this one's carrying it looks like a full-size Glock 17 
not going to be a super concealable rig. Now, if you're a on-duty police officer, who cares, right? I mean, that's your job to carry. If anybody finds out, no big deal. Just depends on the you know rules, laws, and regulations of your locality. If you're a civilian permit holder, generally I like to keep it on the down low when I'm armed. And I really like that magazine. Then the other one, the magazine holder. The other one is the Galco Jackass Shoulder Rig. I like that name. That's fun. This is kind of a 30th anniversary throwback to their original company, the Jackass Leather Company, I think. And I love the color of that, that ox blood leather. And this one utilizes suede straps as opposed to the steer hide that you saw on the Miami Classic 2. Nice holster. But look at the prices. They're, you're going to pay for these. 122 for that one. The Miami Classic. And I'm at Impact Guns website. Running 140 Free shipping on both. So reasonable, but that's not cheap for a holster. Notice there's that downward butt presentation of a full-size gun as he strives to get the overall length and conceal, uh, uh, reduced and incre impre can't speak, increase uh, you know, concealability of his rig. This one uses the traditional vertically placed magazine holders. Uh, those work, and of course the classic light, which I'm going to show you right now, has them. Cool, huh? That's that rig right there. And check the price. And this is another reason I want to roll it into the Nut and Fancy project because the price is reasonable at $66 free shipping. And you're going to get all the utility of the Galco Miami Classic shoulder holster and actually some more concealability because it's made of 100% suede. And that suede is thin and very comfortable. Maybe not quite as durable over the span of many years of use. So if you plan on putting it through some hardcore use, then you might want to look elsewhere. Um, maybe upgrade to this one. But thin is better. Thin makes it more concealable. A couple pictures here. There's the back picture of it. It's going to be a better model than I would be. And I adjust it so it's pretty much flat horizontal when I carry this holster. You could, again, go butt up, butt down, wherever you want. And there's your magazine carrier. So, it is not the original rig, it's actually based on those Galco rigs, but for $66, having a quality Galco holster, pretty awesome. Are there any downsides? A uh, few. It is made of suede, it's not a synthetic, therefore it's going to retain moisture. If you were to get this wet, it's going to stay wet, and that's for one reason. For years, I kind of avoided any type of leather holsters. I just prefer the polymers and plastics and Kydexes. But I'm warming up to them, at least ROL. Also, as you go in and out of the holster, it will wear your gun. I've never seen a leather holster that won't do that. You're going to get some rub marks on your holster. But you know what? It's honest wear, and I've always said honest wear is pretty cool. It just shows uh, the tool is being used the way it's supposed to. So there you have it. The Galco Classic Light. I don't know if I said it right that one time. Classic Light shoulder holster for $66. Get it while you can. Uh, big advantage of speed. It's going to increase the speed over the belly band. It's very comfortable. And if you go with a smaller uh, pistol like this PM9, it's going to be pretty darn concealable. Thanks, man. Nothing fancy. Out.